Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 25 of the Power World series. Grab me some wood, and stone, and stack it in here. And this episode, I should be able to finish the final upgrade of, well, that, uh, that Robin Quill is just planting the ore, I guess. Interesting pastime. No, my armor is damaged. But I should be able to finish this last upgrade for the base. I need a weapon assembly line and a high quality workbench. Which now that I'm level 32, I am level 32, right? Yes. Now that I'm level 32, I should be able to get that done. So we scroll all the way down here, learn this. Oh, you can build mines in this. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. I didn't know that. Here we are. Weapon assembly line. Ingots. Nails. We have the high quality pal oil. Tomato plantation. Probably learn that. At least. Oh, frag grenades are pretty cheap. Fiber stone and gunpowder. It could just make that a primary tool or weapon. Well, let's start working on this. First thing we need is a little bit of cement for that high quality workbench. Oh, here we have it. I guess we don't really need more than 90, so... <laughs> Mission complete. Where? Do I have a chest here? Yeah, there we go. That's the cement chest. What do we have in our inventory that we don't really need? Well, frag grenades for one. But we could just feed this meat to me and my pals. Hey, mozzarella. Damn, this cow meat is just hyper effective. Just gonna eat that last one for fun. Bars. Anything else weighing me down? Not really. Oop, just threw my dog out for no reason. Anyways, let's cut down this tree. This thing respawns every damn episode. Get rid of this. Oh, my axe broke. I've broken my ass. I guess we'll just have to do this the slow way. With the metal axe being broken, it does about as much as a stone axe. Guess it's a uh, time for a lot of repairs that have been held off. Oh no, we need ingots. Oh no, I've been neglecting all of my resources. Oh, no, we're fine. Let's go ahead and set the rest of this stuff to cook. Another 160 on the way. Store the rest of this. Start repairing all of our crap. Actually, before we get to repairing, we'll get this upgrade done. High quality workbench. I or no, weapons workbench. <laughs> Put it up here, along with this assembly line. Tab? No, B. B for build. Here we are. Weapon assembly. Oh, I need more nails. Dab. It's gonna require more ingots. Time. Well, we can make it work. We just damn our didst. Nails. We'll set them up to craft right here. It's nail time. They wanted 20. So for now, we'll just do 10 crafts. Later on, we'll do more. But for now, that's it. Let's go ahead and get the Batalia out. Yeah, so she'll do something at the base rather than just the dog who is standing around. Collect this egg while we're waiting. Another Cinemoth. Well, that's XP, I guess. No more eggs on me? Time to start going through the chest eggs. Try another fire creature. Roll the dice. It's like a gotcha. It really is. I could craft multiple incubators and get the eggs squared away faster, but I don't think it's really necessary. Uh, let's craft the average feed bag. And how are we doing with the parachute? We have a normal one. Mm, that's fine. You know what? Let's collect the ore instead. I can be doing far more useful things than crafting. Of the many things that I can do, that's probably the least relevant. Because the pals, oddly enough, can craft as fast as me or faster most of the time. But when it comes to things like ore, well, that's a different story. I can break down the ore far faster than they can. At least as far as I know. I haven't seen any pals that can really break this stuff down. They lack the oomph. The power, the gumption. So, this is officially our task to do. Beating rocks down with our pick ass. I wonder what the Tombats are gonna do once I run this out. Well, two of them just went on a short break, apparently. Guess that's one way to react. Let's go ahead and cancel this and then just set the rest cook up with it. It only equated to like 11 more ore. Not amazing. You know, it's very interesting. If you have food in your inventory, and this, the like, gray background here, that'll start to go down, which signifies it's, uh, slowly degrading away. But if you hit sort, it just kind of resets itself. On the lower left here, very hard to read numbers. It says 9 minutes and 55 seconds. But if I hit sort, it just goes back to 10 minutes. Fair and balanced as all things should be. Well, these tombats are going crazy on that stone. Well, let's keep producing flour. I guess that's useful. Makes me curious. Oh yeah, the jam-filled buns. They're barely being cooked at all. Nobody is cooking them. Oh well, I'm over it. We'll just take what we have now and put them in here. Gotta make more baked beans. Eventually I'll get around to that. One day. Oop, just drew the battalion back in for no good reason. How are those nails looking? Oh, they're done. Good. Now we can work on that bench. Planting. Why are you planting? I mean, I guess so. Just do things, Battalia. <laughs> Help people around the base. Or not people. Pals. They're not 
people. Don't want to turn into that cat mom who gives her cats actual names like John and Jerry Richard. Weapons workbench right here does appear to be similar to an assembly line. And once they're all working on it, it won't take very long to finish up. 35 seconds really isn't that bad. They're not even all up here yet. Yeah, there we go. I said dream work made only possible via teamwork. Three, two, there we go. Now, that gave me access to nothing, basically. I, I didn't really need this, any of it, but we have it, go us. Now what we need is to craft that high quality, here it is, hot spring. Needs a bit of cement, which is bad for the wallet, but whatever. We'll go ahead and put it over here against this wall. There, now we get them crafting this, so this is gonna take far longer. Oh, never mind. Well, yeah, actually it is. <laughs> it's quite a grip. See what happens when the entire gang just surrounds it. Oh yeah, no, never mind. It's about the same. It just said it was like an 800 workload and it confused me. I was like, oh, crap. It's gonna take like 80 minutes. We just have a cacophony of hammer noises and you can see the progress being done. Once it reaches the top of that tree, we've got ourselves a hot spring. Which is really only for the pals. I do spoil them. There we go, look at how happy they are to serve. The only difference between this hot spring and the other one is that this one's got flowers and stuff around it. I don't even think it's as deep as the other one. You know, the other one's deeper. <laughs> Makes me curious if I should get rid of that one. Probably not, but this means that I should be able to upgrade the base. Base upgrade right here, level 15. And unless we change away from the vanilla settings, this is going to be the absolute cap of what we can do with the base. 15 pals, three bases. That's not bad. We'll have to put one more up here, since this is basically like a pseudo mining base. It'll just be another miner, I guess. Maybe. Maybe it'd be better to have planters or crafters or something. What does this one do? A little bit of crafting, transportation, logging. None of what I want, really. Well, we got a lot of van worms. Go us. Could just put another pen king in, since they do a little bit of everything. Wouldn't hurt. Yeah, sure. <laughs> More pen king. You really can't go wrong with putting those at your base. Cognito. Oh yeah, we caught this in the previous episode, I believe. Attacks targeted enemy with a powerful phantom peck. Oh, okay. I, I guess it just teleports and pecks something. Not as great as I was expecting, but that's fine. Now that we can build a third base, I think we have to really start beelining for the north of the map because we are down here at the beginning and we want to be up here up in the desert area. So I guess we'll just set a marker up here. I'll forget what that's for, but that is our objective. Let's see, but what is Battalion doing? What are you doing? Transporting? What the hell? No, oh, grab that feed bag. That's what you're really made for. You're a crafting master. Don't go hanging out with the plebes down there. I can never comprehend your true value. Wool, I have a lot of wool. I don't know if I need as much cloth as I have. <laughs> Damn, that's already done. They are so much faster than me. Next, oh, I need wood. Wow, I'm lacking wood. That's not okay. How's this thing doing? I have to switch out some of the miners for woodcutters. Actually, you know what I could do? I could replace... We're going to go to the Vixie base. Accidental bars. Wait, oh, wow, this just, I can i can feel it in my frame rate. There's a lot of items. We're gonna hop on something big with a nice big hitbox for picking things up. Yeah, like this. This is good for it. I don't have to walk in as many circles when doing this. I think after we collect all of this, we're going to replace at least half the Vixies with woodcutting creatures and place down one of those, like, mine foreman things. Oh yeah, that's just a big disaster of loot. I guess it's been a bit. Luckily, this creature can just jump over the ranch if there's anything on the outside I can't reach. Oh yeah, that's that's just the sound of happiness. That hrumt to tum of just picking things up. There we go. Now we've got all the things. I know there's one palace sphere just hiding inside, inside of this tree. <laughs> now let's head down here. And I'm gonna craft one, like, foreman thing. Wait, what do you... Oh yeah, you cut trees, don't you? Adorable. But just one isn't going to be enough. Over here. What does it take to craft that thing again? The... Where? Oh, where is the wood logging wood cutting logging site there it is oh, i need some stone i can get that real quick right where what? what was that oh right that thing i gotta go find me a rock sure there's a stone or something down this way yeah here we go said i only needed 20 i think i'll craft two of them so our goal is about 40 stone thereabouts i tend to forget that you get pallium from standard ore like this too 
It's not a lot, but still pretty neat. There's gotta be a better way for players to travel. Guess my walking speed is terrible. Overlaps with another object. Oh, should I get a little further away from the wall, I guess? Put this right here. Put another one <laughs> right next to it at this weird angle. Rather, it wasn't at the weird angle. I guess we'll just make do with this. Eh, nah, we'll just put it on the other side here. Flat on the ground. Should be fine. Should be, maybe. If we're dealing with weird angles anyway. <laughs> We'll put it inside here. I think they'll be able to do it. Let's get the Patalia out, crafting this, and then we'll throw the Elphadran at it to see if it can even cut wood with it at this angle. It's not crazy, but I just get the feeling that if you place it at a crazy angle, they won't be able to interact with it properly. That wouldn't be good. And there we are. Well done, Patalia. Now, let me throw the Elphadran out. I guess we can just crap this one. We know that this works. We'll remove... I guess we'll start with the wool crafting creatures. The... What are they called? Kremis. We'll get rid of the Kremis first and try to get at least six loggers at this site. Because as it stands, we don't need any more standard spheres. So the Vixie's only real purpose is giving us a bit of gold, which is fairly irrelevant, and the arrows, which is kind of relevant. But if we have loggers and the stone folk here, that's even better because every one wood and one stone equates to three arrows. So let's see if the Alpha Dram can do this. Oh yeah, looks like it's possible, which means we got this. Yeah, we need six woodcutters. It was started by removing five of the crevice. Two, three. Now we only have five anyway. Goodbye, Kremis. Rest in spaghetti. Now we need to find the best woodcutters we have. These have two woodcutting. Incineram. Oh, that's a mining creature. Could just be a bunch of deer. These have two woodcutting, crafting, and transportation. The transportation could help. Robin Quill has one. Also, I might need honey at some point. Maybe. Eh, we'll see. If I need it, I'll switch over and get it. Until then, the bees can stay as they are. What does this thing do? Planting. Huh. I think I am going to be best off just using things like these Gora rats. Put two of these in. Wait, muscle head? That's bad for working. Not that one. Hooligan. Reduce work speed. Pass. Okay, I guess we're not using any of the Gora rats. It's gonna be all deer. This one. It's got artisan anyway. It makes it better at its working than this capacitor conceded i think that's better for work work speed plus 10 percent defense minus 10 percent that's totally fine now we need two more work slave that's perfect it's sadist i guess we'll put that in unless oh wait hold on masanda two crafting three transportation it's the gora rat but better we'll just put this in then yeah this is the good stuff wait why are they going for the trees instead of these bars but what hold on <laughs> wait a second why why is this happening well, I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to understand either. But I'm still going to put a chest between these two sites, the logging sites. Oh, that's right, the Masanda has two crafting. <laughs> Things super useful. It's got a lot of different uh, abilities. Well, I guess this is how we're getting our wood. I don't... At some point, they'll eliminate the trees so fast. So fast. Oh, I need another pal bed. But they'll eliminate the trees so fast that they'll have to go to the logging sites. Yeah. That seems sensible. This also isn't crazy difficult work, so it shouldn't bug them too much. Since I have to craft another bed, can I craft a high quality one? Or a fluffy one? Cloth and nails. Oh, the nails are a problem. Now we'll just give them a straw bed. They'll survive. I can just stuff it in this corner, but I don't think they can interact with it properly there. So we'll put it right here instead. Oof, 18 seconds to go, but you can see the Masanda creeping up. <laughs> yeah, he's so much better than me. I shouldn't even be here. He takes care of everything with that little hammer. Look at the little hammer. Oh, that's adorable. An adorable little hammer. We have wood on the way. It's already quite a bit here. Quite a bit. These things do not mess around. Let's see, the Mossanda is transporting. We have 283. What chest did he put it in? What the? Wait, did he just drop it? I think he can only carry two at a time. Oh, here we go. Now they're messing with the logging site. I prefer this method. Oh, damn. Elphadran's not messing around either. Well, let's just thoroughly over encumber ourselves with all of the wood that we can and then fast travel back to the other base oh some of them are taking breaks already what is wrong with you people you just started the day isn't even over yet it's been like a two hour work shift oh just slowly creeping back to the pal base maybe i should make a grappling hook seems like a good idea at this point yeah i might just do that oh no i'm taking cold damage gotta equip that torch come on look at the fixies go look at them go oh that's adorable good little work slaves i'll take this wood all but one and now make our way back to the other base we've been ignoring wood for a while now 
We do have a logging site here. Oh god, I'm so slow. We do have a logging site here at the base, Tipos and Tombat. Nice. However, that barely matters because we only have the Robin Quills capable of cutting wood. Oh no, where's the nearest chest? I'm just so slow. What if I... I'm just gonna half this. Half. Not the entire thing. Half. Yeah, that's much better. I'm just gonna pick which chest we're gonna put it in, I guess. This one. There we go. Wood transferred. What was I doing all this for? <laughs> don't remember. It was for this. I was trying to make a mega glider. I want to be able to glide fast. I want to be a strong glider. You know, is there a better glider than this? I'm curious. I get a feeling there is. Scroll all the way down. Learn defensive wall, I guess. Anything that has to do with defenses sounds nice. Well, I'm sure there's a better glider. There has to be, right? High quality cloth find metal eh, maybe not i guess we'll just make this oop that's not what i was trying to do let's draw him back in we're gonna need the patalia for crafting we'll just make a mega glider then come on patalia you and me teamwork just <laughs> i love how the crafting for the patalia is just like air slaps that's all she really does, just pat the air aggressively. Then again, I'm just over here, like, pretending to work with tools, not even touching the desk. There we go. Pretty quick, actually. We're both working on the same project. We do need to make more cement, which is only limited by bones and pal fluids. I think bones are the harder one to get. If I remember correctly, I still need... Yeah, I gotta repair my armor as well. This is where all of my ingots are gonna go. I want to make my way to the desert, because I now know that coal is in the desert. And we need coal. So make a shield. Yeah, we'll repair it. Why not? We need coal to make bullets. And I want to make bullets, because bullets go pew pew. And I like when things go pew pew. Pew pew is happiness. How's the incubator going? It's done. Let's go ahead and collect it. Our socks. With burly body, I think that just gives it more defense, so we're not using that. Also, hold on. We have a better glider. We'll equip this and trash the other one. Rest in spaghetti. Now, I don't need this stone spear anymore, so we'll get rid of that too. Ooh, don't draw on the Patalia. Yeah. Throw her out. Maybe she'll keep planting or something. Yeah, there she goes. Wonderful. The benefit of using the pals in your party at the base so that they don't have to sleep. Just like you. I don't sleep. They don't sleep. That's how the rules work. Probably losing a lot of progress not having any creatures I can plant during the nighttime. That would most likely be very useful. Well, she can plant, but she can't do the watering. Damn. You know, I'm actually curious. If I throw the van worm right here at this, how fast do these even cook with something assisting it? Uh, I mean, it's something for sure. I guess we'll just have to leave it here. Bank on them eventually getting the job done. Eventually. Now, our goal is going to have to be heading straight north. Because we can see in the distance, there is a winter biome. And we're either going to hit that or the desert first. The winter biome appears to be truly straight north. So I think we have to go northeast-ish. Probably. Yeah, that's probably what it is. So, let's get to that fast travel point. As north as we can go, and... In the next episode, we will- Ooh, is that a lift monk effigy? Let's go ahead and grab that real quick. I think the dog is still the fastest thing on ground. So, is that a whole mammoth? Sure is. What the hell? It's also confusing that there's a lift monk effigy just out in the open on the beach here. But alright, I'll take it. Free stuff. Oh, I see another one right over there. Wait, are you dogs trying to pick a fight? Are you serious right now? I don't have time for this. Grab this effigy real quick. They truly are in the most random places. I get the feeling the devs just found some kind of random number generator. <laughs> Use that to determine where the effigies were going to be. Just like, okay, this latitude, that longitude. Boom, effigy. But this is going to be the end of episode 25 of the Power World series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.